Hi guys, good afternoon to all my lovely and cherished viewers. As usual, today is a wonderful day, and as usual, I am here to share a very, very important message to all my, all the people who who engage in my content. I would like to give them this information because it is important. They were part of it, and as it has happened, I have to let them know. The message I want to put across is that um, YouTube has monetized my channel and I'm so, 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 so happy. I also want to use this platform to thank YouTube team. They've been, they've been so helpful to me. They've been so helpful to me. They've been guiding me. They've been helping me, giving me tips on what to do, how to grow my channel. And I am so, so happy that it has finally happen this thing cannot happen without the support of your subscribers without the support of your friends without the support of your family without the support of people who engage your content it is it is good for you to acknowledge them and let them know that they were also part of the success story now what i want to let everybody know is that this is where the real work starts this is where the hard work starts because getting monetized is just the beginning. I call it the start of the journey. I call it the start of the journey because when you are monetized, this is where the railway starts. This is where you have to even work more harder than when you were not monetized. And I also want to use this opportunity to tell my fellow small YouTubers, those who are not yet monetized, that YouTube is a transparent body. It is true. YouTube it is, it's a, it is a transparent body and no matter what you are doing, they know what you are doing. So if you do the right thing, you get the right result. If you two say don't do A, B, C, D, they have their community guidelines. And if they say don't do A, B, C, D, and you decide to do to do them, at the end of the day, when you get to this stage, you have problems. When you get to this stage, you have problems. It doesn't necessarily mean that you will not make mistakes. We make mistakes. I have about 130 something videos um, on my channel and when you go through it doesn't necessarily mean I haven't made mistakes I've made a lot of mistakes but anytime I made a mistake and YouTube notify me I quickly correct the mistake either I quickly delete the video if the video happened to contain a copyright I quickly delete the video and if they want me to edit some portions I quickly do it in order not to have problem with YouTube because when you go against their community guidelines it is difficult for them to monetize you because they are so transparent they don't they don't favor anybody if you do the right thing they give you what you deserve so i was so so happy and i'll continue to thank you troop they've given me the platform and i'm so so happy that at the end of the day they made me believe that hard work will always give you success i have not achieved success yet i've not achieved anything yet on youtube but with what they have done to me i sincerely believe that if i work hard I'll be able to um, go far in YouTube. The, the most important thing I want to tell my fellow YouTubers is that work hard. Work hard. It is in, YouTube is not, um, it's not a company that favors people. No. It is not. Most of their work is being automated. So at times, it is not being done by human beings. Even those who review your monetization and uh, when you apply, they are, they, 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 how will I put it? They are not biased. They are fair and firm. They don't favor anybody. You do the right thing. Your channel looks um, friendly. They will approve you. Like what they did to me. I am so, so grateful. I was so, so surprised the way my channel was monetized um, quickly for me. Because when I made the target, um, the criteria they wanted every YouTuber to get before monetized. When I got there and they asked me to apply, how quickly I was monetized. Up to now, I am still thinking, I'm still thanking my God because YouTube has made me to believe that when you do the right things, when you do A, B, C, D, and it is right, they will reward you with hard work. So, my fellow YouTubers, don't be discouraged. People come and tell you that, 
Oh, YouTube monetization is difficult. YouTube monetization is difficult to take you one year, two years, three years, four years, five years. Some of them cry. They haven't this. They haven't even monetized. Don't think like that. I came to YouTube with my own mentality. I came with a very different set of mind. I did not want to compare myself with anybody. I listened to um, to Buddy um, Nick and. Um, I watched one of his videos and he was able to educate us on how to grow our channel, how not to compare ourselves with the bigger YouTubers. Because once you begin to compare yourself, even in normal lives, once you begin to compare your, your life with others, you can never grow, you can never progress in life. Because they let you feel so small. They let you feel so small and you think that you are useless, you can't make it. But I don't think like that. At times, I've been telling my fellow YouTubers that when you see the bigger YouTubers, when you see their videos and they're having 100, 5 million, 6 million, millions of views, billions of views, 100,000 of views, and you are having 50, 60 views, don't worry. I always ask them to check the, um, when the person joined uh, YouTube, when the person started YouTube. Some of them 20 years, some of them it is their life career, some of them have been there for over 30 years, some of them have been over... For there for 15 years, some of them 10 years, some of them 18 years. And you, you just start YouTube 5 months, 6 months, 7 months, and when you see them getting millions of views, then you are getting 50, 80. And you are, you are worried. You shouldn't be worried. You shouldn't be worried. I believe that building audience is a very difficult task. Because human beings by nature is difficult to convince. But if you persevere and continue to entertain them, continue to do your best. Be consistent. Be consistent. Without consistency, you cannot achieve in YouTube. Without consistency, this is the word that I pick from Tubadi and Vidaik. They always tell us that be consistent. If you are not consistent, consistent doesn't mean that you should be uploading video every hour or every minute. No. You have to plan your videos when you want to post. If you are posting. I, for instance, for example, as if you look at my videos, I, I post some when I'm when everything is good for me, I can um, upload videos one week, I can upload every day, some I can upload two days, two days um, interval, some three days interval, but I, I will never sit down for one week, two weeks before I upload a video. No, unless I'm sick, unless I'm sick, but um, if I'm not sick, I make sure that I follow. If you see my new video, either two days, before the other one will become old, before, before it become two days or three days, I've uploaded another video, and that is how I set my how to post my videos. So you have to be consistent. Even if you are doing it weekly, you have to make sure that every week you post a video. Because if you like, allow your audience to stay for a very long time without your video, they might look somewhere. They might look somewhere. It's like you own a shop in the market and you are selling a product and you have gotten your customers. Now, you've locked the, co you've locked the shop and then um, you are not coming. It will force your customers to look for other people who are doing the same uh, uh, who are selling the same product to go there and buy because once you are not coming to work you, have, you will force them to look somewhere and when they look and get uh, they can even get people who are better than what you are so by the time you return they've gotten a new place that they are now going to buy their products that is how I see YouTube so when you are posting your video and sometimes you wait for one week some one month two months before you come and post another one the, 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 the video will never grow especially the channel will never grow, especially if you are a new YouTuber, where getting views, getting watch time is very difficult for you, and you are posting once in a blue moon. How are you going to accumulate your, your watch time? How are you going to get views? Because you can't tell me that you post one video and get 100,000 of views. No. So once you are a YouTuber, it is better for you to be consistent. Because the bigger YouTubers, the stars, the superstars, any program they did or any video that they they do. They get posted and go and sleep because they have fan base. They have fan base. So as soon as they post the video, they are not like us who post a video and we have to be monitoring it every one hour to see whether we are getting views or not. Them, they only have the fan base. So once they post anything on, on social media, they just go back and relax. The following day, they are getting thousands, hundreds, thousands of views. And you want to compare yourself with those people. You are lying. It is never like that. I have made some research where I've taken a bigger YouTuber channel and I, I went to, I went to, uh, it's about, that is about the, the channel and I got to know when he, um, he started the, the YouTube channel 
And when you go through, you go deep, 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 go down, down, and start the first time he started the YouTube um, channel. He was also struggling. You could see that he was getting some 100 views, 50 views. I know YouTubers who are getting 100,000 of views today. But when they started the, the channel five, seven, eight years ago, when you go down, down, and look at their, when they were starting, the, the videos that they used to start the channel, you could see that they were also struggling like you. They were getting 100 views, 50 views, 70 views. But today they are getting 100,000 of views and they have been there for 10 years, 15 years, 20 years. And you have just come to YouTube 5 months, 6 months and you, you are worried. When you, when you post a video and you are not getting views, then you want to give up. When you post a video and you are not getting likes, you want to give up. I'm telling you that YouTube is not easy for you because you are coming to work with people. You are coming to do things that people will like. And like, and like I said, Human beings by nature is difficult to convince. So you have to be patient. You have to have a strategy. And be creative. If you look at my channel, Golio Films TV, if you look at it properly, you could see that I have done so many different videos. I was experimenting. I have done so many different types of neck. I have done different types of neck. But if I do this one, I will monitor it for one month, two months. If it's not working, I move to another one. If it's not working, until... I've gotten to where I am today. Where I am now is I have three, um, how will I put it? I have three topics that I am doing right now. And the main topic on my channel now, if you go to Golden Eye Films TV, my niche now is relationship issues. I have done other stuff, know your right as a power consumer, um, measures of life, um, entertainment police, um, gossips. I've done so, so many of them. But I, until I came to settle on this particular uh, niche, and that is what I think I am good at. So as a YouTuber, you have to, if only you want to take YouTube as a career, then you have to be very, very careful. You have to be very, very hardworking. Be determined, because without determination, you cannot. Do you know how much I spend on YouTube channel every day? Not on my channel, but I spent it on other people's channel, just trying to see what they are doing that they are successful. This is what I do. And at times I read a lot of um, articles about YouTube. I read a lot. I read a lot. 70% of my day activity is on the internet, is on YouTube. Because if you, once you want to be part of YouTube, then you have to know what they like and what they don't like. Okay. So I want everybody to know that YouTube is a transparent body. I am telling you, it's a testimony. It is something that I have seen. And I am telling you that YouTube is a transparent body. Nobody can ever lie to you that you can go to YouTube is doing any, if you, if you qualify for monetization, they will do any, um, they, 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 will, they will not monetize you because they don't like you, they don't like your face or something. No, YouTube is not like that. I've started my, my channel almost just a year now, almost a year. And I am monetized. And the way my monetization went on, I want to come out and let every YouTuber know that YouTube is a transparent body. They don't favor anybody. If you do your thing, if you do what they want you to do, if you do good videos, if you do good topics, good description, good titles, um, good um, hashtags, good, um, how will I put it, good um, titles, good thumbnails and your 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 your, your channel is good looking and you qualify you have your four thousand hour watch time you have your your thousands your thousand subscribers and you have not gone against their monetization policies guidelines youtube would monetize you i am a testimony to that because when i applied for youtube i went and do, did a research and some I went to read some articles about when you when you apply for access, how long does it take? Several weeks, several months, two years, three years. I left that article. I opened another one. It will take several days. It will take two weeks. It will take three weeks. It will take four weeks. It will take five weeks. Then I went to monetization. How long does it take? It takes at least a month. From YouTube own source, it takes about a month. That is good to hear. But I am telling you, 
YouTube knows all the good channels. YouTube knows all the people who are doing the right thing. If you apply for monetization and your channel is of good standing, you don't need to queue long like that. Even access, if you are, if you are going to connect your access to uh, access account to YouTube, it is easy. They will tell you several days. When I applied, I was told that it can take several days. They say it can. They didn't say it will take. They say it can take several days. The following morning, it was not even up to 12 hours, and my AdSense account was connected, was accepted. And then YouTube automatically started the review. Within 12 hours, I had my channel. I wake up in the morning, and I saw that my YouTube is congratulating me for being part of them. They have accepted me to the YouTube partner. Program. How? What else do you want me to ask for from YouTube? What else do you want me to ask for from YouTube? The only thing I can ask from YouTube, or I can, I can tell you to right now, is that I will. This is where the my YouTube career begins. This is where the hard work starts. This is where I want to push, and this is where I want to all let all my fellow small YouTubers that there is a chance do the right things, and YouTube will not let you down. Look, it is not easy. I have done videos. I have taken one hour. I can talk, do a video for one hour. Edit it. Upload it. And as soon as it upload, and YouTube is going to check. As soon as they check, they can send me a message that, oh, or they can give me a notification or a signal that there's a copyright content on it. Either the 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 video be on my TV behind has a copyright content because if you look at the monetization policies, the copyright uh, uh, policies or the copyright um, claims, even an image, an image of a person, copyright can claim, the person can claim your video as his because of his image, because of the person music um, at, uh, at the background. These artists that you should know. So, before I even apply for monetize, I already know all these things because it is my job. I want to do it and I, I love doing it. You see, when you are doing a job and you you are happy doing that job, you love the job you are doing and you are happy doing it. That's right. You will go every length to know everything about it. So, before I was, I, I was even asked to apply or before I even met the requirements, I already knew all these things because one day, I think I uploaded a video of one hour, and then as soon as I post, the, the television behind my back had a video. I don't want to mention the content name. Not knowing that, it was so clear, it was very, very clear, so you, people can see what is happening on the video. But because the person claimed it is a copyright, I was sick now. I was made to know that even if I monetize, that video would not be... Monetize. So I quickly, they wanted even they, they wanted me to even uh, um, do some editing and remove the part that I think the copyright is. I said no, this one no problem. Though I spent uh, one hour data and everything to do that video, I quickly went to delete the video. I quickly went to delete the video because I don't want any copyright content on my channel. Even if I'm not aware, and YouTube signal me and I'm able to identify the video. I'll quickly delete it. I don't just want to have any con uh, copyright claim on my channel. It is something I just don't want. If you find any copyright on my content, I have more than 130 something videos. If you check my content and you see a copyright, then I'm not aware. I'm not aware. If I'm aware, and then I realize that this um, video is a copyright video, I will delete it. Because all my videos are original. I don't go in trying to pick videos from somewhere and modify them or do whatever it is to, 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 to post. I always make sure that the videos that I post, they are, they are my own videos, they are, I, I shot those videos by myself. This is what I've been doing. So when you do the right things, YouTube will, YouTube will monetize you if your, your channel met the requirements. It is as simple as that. And they are transparent. I keep mentioning transparency because I know where I'm coming from. I know where I'm coming from. So, because I know where I'm coming from, that is why I keep on saying that YouTube is a transparency body. If you hear anywhere that there's any living in YouTube monetization, it's a lie. 
It's a lie. I am a testimony. You see, me, if I don't experience something, I don't talk about it. But I am monetized. And what took, what helps me to get monetized? I want to let my fellow YouTubers to know. You should also remember, a lot of YouTubers don't want to read messages or they forget or they ignore messages that are sent to them by YouTube. You have to be very, very careful because you are working with them. You are working with them. So if they find a problem with a video, the first thing they do is they send you an email. Now, if you don't read their email and they have sent you a, a, a mistake you've done and you did not read the email and then you go to, um, the next time you commit the same uh, mistake and they send you an email and you don't, you don't read. So because, because you don't do, read their emails, you don't even know what they, they were trying to tell you. And you continue committing those mistakes. One day you wake up and they terminate your, 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 your channel. And then you, you go around telling people, incoming YouTubers, people who want to venture into YouTube, you will now be going around writing articles that uh, they, they destroy your channel, they terminate your channel without any guest calls or that. This is what you do, but you are not reading their, their emails. Let me tell you something. I have a lot of emails every day coming into my um, account. Now, when they come, when these emails come, when I wake up in the morning, the first thing I do is, after prayers, eating, and this thing, when I log onto my laptop or my desktop or my phone, the first thing I, I do is to read my emails. Because even when I'm going to read the email, I have um, emails coming from TubeBuddy, I have emails coming from uh, uh, Vidaik, I have emails coming from social media coaches that I have joined. So they, they, they like to send me tips, coaching ideas, and all those things. All these images. All these emails come to my account. So as soon as, the first thing I look for is YouTube email. When I open my emails, the first thing I look for is YouTube email. As soon as I see YouTube email, no matter, even if it is the last uh, message I receive of the, um, on the day, that is the first thing I will read. Hey, what has happened? At the time when I receive an uh, email from YouTube, it's like my heart even, you see that my heart will be pumping because what have I done? And they are sending me an email. But YouTube has been friendly. They have been friendly. Since the day I joined YouTube, their emails they sent to me is encouraging. They are friendly. They are not, they don't intimidate you. They just, they are friendly. They just try to help you grow your channel. So when I see YouTube email, I am always happy. And I'll go and read everything. If they tell me, do ABCD or there's a problem here, I'll quickly open my channel, make sure that I log into my channel and make sure that whatever they are telling me is wrong, I quickly correct it. That is a good standing channel. Obey YouTube. So, read YouTube emails. If you, if you ignore uh, YouTube emails they send to you, then you are, then unless you are not serious in YouTube, if you are doing YouTube for hobby, as a hobby, you don't care, you don't, you don't value the channel, you don't, you don't spend on the channel, you don't, um, how will I put it, you don't work hard um, on the channel, then these are the people who ignore YouTube emails. But once you are a serious YouTuber, a content creator, and you want to go via YouTube, remember to read their emails. I'm telling you, make sure that there is no notification coming from YouTube so that you'll be able to um, read their emails. I don't joke with YouTube emails. Even when I see YouTube emails and a call is coming, I swear, I will, I will read the email before I, I pick that call or I call back because it is a job I want to be associated with. YouTube is a great brand. It's a, it is a, apart from Google, they are the second largest search engine in the world. So to be part of this fantastic family, I am so, so, so grateful to YouTube. I am so, so grateful to YouTube. When I started YouTube from day one, I never knew that today I will be sitting here monetized and taken off from YouTube, taking my career in YouTube ahead. I am so happy. This is the more reason why I want to go out there and let my fellow YouTubers know that. Look, work hard. YouTube is a transparent organization. YouTube is a transparent organization. Even when they are doing manual reviews, they are transparent. They are transparent. When you meet the requirements, nobody will hold you back because your face is not good. No, YouTube, to do the right thing, YouTube will monetize your channel. And that is why I am here trying to 
let my fellow YouTubers know that YouTube doesn't favor anybody. They are fair and firm. They will educate you. Once you join YouTube, they will try to lecture you. And, and I also want my fellow YouTubers to know, to know that also try your possible best. And then join these social media coaches. Get close to some of them. Especially if you like and then too bad. You can join any of them. So YouTube is also doing a great work helping us, coaching us. But when you join this thing, they will be able to coach you how to write your titles, how to write your how to do your tags, how to do your your description, how to create thumbnails and engaging thumbnails. All these things they will teach you. So if you want to take YouTube as a career, try your possible best to to try and join this um social media comment, uh, coaches that I'm talking about, too bad or be you can choose any of them. And we, we have a lot of them. We have, I can mention personal, um, is it Blue Point? There's another one called Blue Point. And they have, I've done all these uh, uh, social media commentators, I've, coaches, I've done all of them. And they are helping me. They are sending me emails. They are sending me emails. How I can... It's a lot, it's a lot. It's a family, it's a great family. And to be to be part of this great family, I am so, so happy. You too, the only thing I can say is that I am so, so much grateful to you. And I want to assure you that this is where the work starts. I have not gained anything in YouTube. It is now time for me to, to start and kick my career in YouTube. This is where the hard work starts. All the sleepless nights, the writings, the, how will I put it? All the struggles that I went through to get monetized, that is nothing. This is where the real work starts. This is where I want to kick my career in YouTube. I will not disappoint YouTube. I will not disappoint them. So my fellow YouTubers, if you want to be like me, like I'm also looking to be like, when I was not monetized, I always, I was always praying that God help me one day to get monetized. I was looking at the bigger YouTubers. When I... Um, Check somebody's video, I see ads running and all those kind of things. I feel happy. I say, I wish um, one day, one day, my videos will be running ads and all those things. And that's not necessarily mean that when ads are running on your video, make them, no, but it gives you confidence. It gives you hope. It lets you know that you have, you've been, your channel is being recognized. Because if your video is not advertise, um, advertisement friendly, they will not put any ad on it. So when you watch your video and you see art on it, then you should know that there's something special about the video that YouTube is seeing or AdSense is seeing, Google is seeing that you don't see. So you have to give yourself thumbs up when you see art running, whether you are making money out of it or not. It means that the videos you are making, they are advertisement friendly. And that is why they are putting art on your video. So when I watch my videos now and see art on it, I feel happy. I feel I, 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 I don't even know what to do. I feel very, 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 um, I don't know what word to use, but I feel very happy. I feel very, I feel like I am moving forward. I feel like I am going forward and I am so, 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 so happy to YouTube. When you work hard and there's a reward and people recognize your hard work, it makes you happy. It makes you to even work harder. So don't let anybody deceive you. Don't let anybody tell you that YouTube monetization is difficult. How to get to YouTube Partner Program is a, there is a problem. Don't mind that person. Do what you have to do. Go to open uh, or create a Google account. If you want to be a YouTuber, also join. And do your own thing. Don't be comparing yourself with people. When you see the bigger YouTubers having 10 views and they are having 100, don't look at anybody. Learn from them, but don't compare yourself with them. That is the message I want to give to my fellow YouTubers who also uh, want to get monetized. Because be hardworking, concentrate, don't lose focus. Don't lose focus. Because when you lose focus, you, you, will, you will quit. When you are about to hit, you, you will quit. That is the reason why I want to motivate my fellow small YouTubers that YouTube is a transparent body. They are a transparent organization. They don't favor anybody. If you do the right thing, they give you what you deserve. If you don't do the right thing, they will they will give you warning, they will warn you one, two, three at times, they will do a lot. But if you don't read their text messages, if you don't read their emails, how will you know what you are doing wrong and what they are trying to correct you? So you end up, they will not know that you don't read them. So when they give you in, um, a warning and you don't read, second warning, third warning, nobody, even if you are working in a company, 
and they give you a query and you don't reply, it means that you, what they are saying is true. So YouTube, you have to always read their message. It's very, very important. It's very, very important. Now, that is all about it. And I will not forget to um, once again thank my viewers, my subscribers. I will not forget you people because you've been there. You are all part of this journey. And I'm so, so happy. Um, I, will, I will not end this program without letting you know my next um, video, my next topic. The next topic I'm going, I want to talk about will be about this relationship issue that I've been doing of late. And it is about where do you find your partner. Now, if you are sitting with your girlfriend, you hold your girlfriend's hand, ask your girlfriend, can you remember the, where we met, the first day we met, can you remember where, which place, which time, what time, and the location, do you remember? Or if you have a wife at home, just come home one evening and call. Honey, come. And then she comes and you, you let sit down. Can you remember where we met? The first day we met, can you remember? It's, those days are always special days because it is that is where the journey started. That is where the journey started. That is where the relationship started. That is what I want us to, to look at my next topic. That is... Um, where you meet your partner, that will be the, the topic. Where do you, where did you meet your partner? That is, that will be my next topic. That is all I have for you today. And once again, God is the owner of everything, and we continue to thank God. That is all that I have. Bye bye.